This is the cave, an RPG map by Glorn. Now, what it was submitted for Mapperino is the tutorial, because this map is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, you could play this map for a very, very long time. I think the map maker has said like hundreds of hours. Uh, I, I don't, I can't really speak to that. I haven't played enough of it. I have dabbled with it and it does seem extremely expansive and a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things that go into it. So I am going to swap this over the tutorial and, uh, and let's give it a go. Again, I do have a video of, of the cave back when it was still in beta. I think now it's technically released. Uh, or maybe I played it in alpha, now it's in beta. I think it's technically released. Uh, in any case... Uh, tank healer support DPS. Uh, you know your boy's gotta go DPS. Because we're playing solo. So I think you can play this with two or three people. And, uh... Again, it's an RPG, so let's check it out. Yeah, I did talk for a while about st about Star Wars. Apologies. We've been talking more than we've been playing today, I guess. Been having a good time, though. So this is available in the arcade. Uh, you could probably just search for The Cave, but the links are also in the typical spot for the, the downloads for all the Mapperino entries. And uh, this does utilize bank data, so there's a, sort of a, a world permanence to it as you level up, so you can play it and then leave and then come back to it. And I assume, again, because of how big the map is, there's probably going to be a, a decent chunk of loading time here. Uh, this map has kind of an interesting mechanic where it's like a day-night cycle, and at night... Well, I don't know if it's day-night, but there's a cycle to it where you go out and you adventure, and then you have to come back to your hub at a certain time to defend against it's a cyclical attack on your, on your town that comes out of the titular cave. And then I think eventually you start adventuring inside the cave, I think. But I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. I've played maybe two hours of this map at one point. So I'm interested to see how the tutorial is set up to kind of explain these mechanics. Hey there. Congrats on being one of the six people to actually check this mode out. Your reward is going to be my witty commentary as I show you what this game is all about and allow you to judge it if it's worth the dozens of hours your life that people will tell you it is worth. Nothing from this mode saves and you get no brownie points for sitting through it. There are trashy mechanics. Those are trashy mechanics. We, do not, we don't do trash around here. Wow. And then the other modes are 1 through 50 and then 50 plus for end game stuff. So I guess like you need to be a high level to even go into the end game mode. Uh 18 save slots seems pretty uh pretty wild here. So we're, we are Jay Barino. So we go new. And then I think I'm going to go range class. I'm good at running away, all right? And that's what you do when you're a range class. Kick. The hero kicks an enemy who gets too close. That's good. The hero throws a rock, dealing 15 physical damage. Well, oh, oh, we do more damage kicking something than throwing a rock. I did try the melee class last time. Or maybe we can go caster class. Let's go caster class. Let's do it. Here we are. UI is all different. Oh, look, a man with an exclamation park mark over his head. I wonder what he wants. You're interrupting my calculations. Let's close this. Welcome to our village. These darn wolf pups are coming out of the forest and scaring my chickens. They're so worked up, they attack anyone who comes near them. Without my chickens, I can't feed the city. If you could clear out some of those wolf pups, I will make sure the city takes good care of you. And the reward is a tier one rare item. Let's do it. I like you could just talk to him, and he has, he has like a cyclable, cyclable dialogue here. The castle over there—they call it World's End Keep. A bunch of fanatics always going on about how the world is going to end soon. They'll keep my pockets lined though, and I keep them well fed. Don't let them scare you with their nonsense. I've seen groups like this before. They just want the riches from that cave, and they'll be gone once they get it. Timmy, he's a special boy, the first stranger to turn up on my farm. I'm not sure he came from the same place as the rest of them. The wild animals accept him as one of them, which is good considering how often he gets lost in the woods. Okay, cool. No, 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 not like that. But Greetings, my lord. If you ever get tired, help yourself to a slice of pie. I only use the freshest apples and add a secret ingredient to the crust. The people in the keep can't get enough of it. She does not have her own quest. An elf would have thought of something. Hello. 
cooked uh, chickens. I'm gonna love them and pet them and squeeze them and call them George. Certainly a child. It's like he's staring right through you. <laughs> so we're using the Warcraft 3 assets from the editor. Wait, don't don't attack the chicken. We're attacking the wolf pups. Here we go. Punch him. Okay, so we have plenty of energy. Why are the chickens still chasing me? I'm protecting you, you jerks. Okay, we've done it. So I think maybe we just want to be running away. The chickens are still chasing me. I'm helping you. You want me to do what? Put you into a deep sleep, restoring most of your life and energy over time. Taking damage will cancel the effect, so it's kind of like a tent. Oh, we leveled up, I think. Yeah, so we're level two. So the, the loot drops up here. I guess we'll just need everything. Increases armor by 370, okay. So let's check our inventory and equip this stuff. Okay, pretty straightforward. I like how it does automatically go into the slot it's supposed to go. We do have a backpack. This map looks a lot cleaner than the last time I see it. I actually like this map quite a bit. This is very nice, and it tells you specifically which one you're in, and it's huge. An elf would have thought of I also noticed there's no timer on the... Uh, I guess we're going to kill the chickens, even though we're supposed to be protecting them. You want me to do what? Yes, yes, I'm already on it. So this... It slows them as well, that's expected. And we do a little bit of... An elf would have thought of something better. Do a little bit of melee damage. Quest log. Uh, sure. Again, this is all like, you know, trash level items. We gotta stick with it. Want me to do what? Chickens are no one's friends. Uh, I think we already have those, but we I assume we could just hold on to this stuff and then we can sell it later. I'm kind of mad that these chickens are attacking me. Okay, we got a hero rank up. Fallen Priest. Okay, no extra options. We've got to go for the Fallen Priest. Many failed attempts at sorcery have branded the caster as a Fallen Priest, and his knowledge has not grown very fast. Though careful meditation and skillful practice, through careful meditation and skillful practice, he'll be able to progress as either a damage-inflicting hero or a supportive role. So we still have Frostbolt. The ground becomes vile at the target, dealing four spell damage every 0.5 seconds. Lasts for six seconds. So we could, like, freeze them to make them move slower as they go through the desecrated ground. All right, let's go. Fallen Priest. Oh, gosh. So the Sleep Potion, it says there's, like, a four on it. Do we only have four of them, I assume? Because there's a cooldown, but it doesn't say in the tooltip that we have a certain number. Yes, Master. Also, that reset my... Uh, that reset my, um, my mini-map. I gladly obey. My fate is sealed. Nice. And we're a ranged hero now, so we can we could kite if we wanted to. Uh, I don't really want to go into the next area yet. Let's just keep killing stuff. What I like, too, if, if I remember correctly from the when I played this previously, the, um... I quite like how... The grinding is kept to a minimum. Like, this beginning part, again, this is the tutorial, but if I remember correctly, this isn't really something that... That lasts for a very long time. So we have those. A charm. I'm technically in combat? All right. Got him. Yes. Oh, gosh. It's pulsing. All right, so let's equip this. I'm still technically in My combat. Do I, maybe I need to close the inventory? There we go. Energy regen bonus. And then a necklace. Increases spell damage by... That That seems great. I must have gotten really lucky with that. I'd rather have that than the energy regen. My life okay, let's go and turn this in. I guess we can keep I killing stuff along bad. the way. And there is a... I was wondering if there was an experience bar. It's right I there. We're getting so many items. I will. 
kill on these chickens, you know? And then inventory. I already have some leggings, but there's spell damage reduction. This is much better, I think. Yes. Is there an indicator that that's basically saying, like, yes, you are indeed in combat? Okay, there we go. I guess we're no longer in combat. Fine, let's turn this in. Let's close this. I'm killing this man's property right in front of him. Greetings, friend. My life for Nezu. Hello there. So it looks like I don't know how long it's technically taking to exit combat, but regardless, it's fine. Thanks a lot, stranger. Some of my chickens have returned home and are back to laying eggs. There's still a lot of work to be done around here to keep up the fight against evil. Stop by later, and I will have some more work for you. Okay. Let's Where talk to Miss Molly. I can get you into that castle, young man. I deliver apple pies every week to the market in town, and I am overdue for a shipment. Those wolves have kept me from making the trip. They can smell the pies from quite a distance and come running. The guards will let you right in. Yup, let's go. I wish only okay, so I'm currently holding pies, and I think we want to go this way to get into the castle. Yes, master. That's a pretty good spell. Assuming we can, you know, lure people into it. I will be done. I glad so the need greed system is something pretty common in most I will be done. MMOs I at least. Yes, when you're playing with other people, it's just a system to help pay. roll for loot. That's all it is. Yes, master. My fate is sealed. I like that. All right, so once again, I have to check my inventory. I will be done. A lot of items dropping here, a lot. All right, well, there's. My let's just go into the town. There we go. World's End Keep. So number one, I've got this hardened level leather. So that's a very good. Sp that's very good. And then I've got the hardened staff. So already, I've got some great items. I don't need leg. I've already. I'm already wearing better leggings, I think. And then my helmet is just armor. I think that's fine. So let's let's just deliver our I gladly obey. Our pies. So you can see the castle siege is coming up here. It's about darn time. Look, I don't care who you are. Morale is low around here and these pies are late. My morale is low. Give me them pies. <laughs> give me them pies. And I'll give you some materials. They're going <clears throat> They're going currency around here. Don't be late again or your reward will be equally late. Okay, he doesn't have a quest. I know there are great treasures hidden out there. Most people don't even know the value of the treasure they hold. If you find anything curious along the way, be sure to save it for me. I will be done. As you progress through the game, you'll be able to select a progression path for your hero. The hero gains stats. Okay, got it. So we're going to go sorceress because we want damage. Actually, the chaplain does good damage, too. After a very confusing operation, the sorceress has become a powerful spellcaster. Sure, that's fine. The keep is currently under attack. Ah! There are well over 100 quests to complete in this game. Many of them can be difficult, but they progress the story, unlock features, and offer good rewards. Let's try out this escort quest. You have been given some stat points. Hit the stats button on your menu and see if you can allocate them as you see fit. So I have 10 points. We can upgrade our damage, speed, life, energy, and resist. So I'm going to upgrade damage. And then I guess just life. And there's achievements as well. I can't select that right now. I wasn't able to actually complete this quest, so we got warped out of the town before we actually hit the siege. Welcome to our village. I used to be able to get the, to the castle easily with this old telepad. The crazy hermit that used to run the place would let me use it in exchange for strange scraps I found buried around here. I'm not sure how, but I believe he used them as fuel for this thing. If he can bring me some scraps... I will get this running again. Take Spike. He will always be able to sniff out this stuff. I think this is the quest to unlock fast travel, which I hadn't, I wasn't even able to complete back in the day. So 
you can't see it, but I have it here. This hero gains 15% spell damage after casting a spell that stacks. Okay, so yeah, we have to just escort this guy around. I guess I don't necessarily have to kill stuff that's not directly in my way. Another rank hero rank up? Just just go. We we don't have time, so Oh my god! I'm in the middle of a quest! I can't I can't I can't. We got it. I can't. Uh I what 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 am I supposed to do? I could I couldn't read it, so I've gotta Well, we failed. We could go back. Uh, can I check that? So now I'm a warlock. I have a fireball now, too, and it costs 10% of my mana to cast it. So that was messy. So if we go to stats... See, I... There was, like, an entire... tree of stuff that now I can't, uh... I can't see what any of that was. Stats... More info... There it is. There it is. Okay. So this is like the help. There's, there's all these things that can basically tell you what you're missing. If you're confused about something. So I've got a hero tree. I am a caster. So we've gone from Fallen Priest to Sorceress, now to Warlock. A powerful spellcaster who's finally learning defensive skills. The majority of his damage comes from spells, but he has more damage potential than any other class at this stage. When he ranks up, he'll be able to focus on long-range damage or shorter-range damage and survival. So eventually we'll be able to go to Vengeance or Dark Mage. And we also got some new abilities here. So I've got the focus, which again, you can't see because of my camera, but it's just, it stacks, it's a stacking damage buff. And then fireball, we can, it's basically 10% of our total mana pool, but it stuns. So we have Cloak of Flames. This hero maintains a protective wall of fire around itself, reducing physical damage taken by 15%. That's excellent. Four energy per second, I think is acceptable. We got a big mana pool. And then Lightning Ball seems really nice because it does some AoE around it. So we've got, we have some really good spells here. Let's see if we could try this again. I let this, this poor, this guy's poor dog die. It's just wrong, you know? Right away. All right, dog. I guess we can start clearing some of these. I don't know what, what how fast this stuff tends to respawn. Also, I think we were given a very generous amount of stats for this point as well. So I, 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 as long as you don't leave the side of the dog, I doubt that this is failable, but we'll see. I feel like the tutorial probably should have forced you to stay in the town until the dungeon, until the castle siege. Okay, I see how that works. That's cool. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. It's a really, it's a really good spell. Okay, so he's digging stuff up. See, yeah, we've got plenty of life, so we should be good. How can I help? What you doing, buddy? Is everyone ready? Rise yep, let's go. Maybe if we had more than one person, it would give you a prompt. I'm not right sure. Away. See you later, custodian. Thanks for hanging out. See, I don't, I don't think this is that Four thing had more. respawned. I think. Uh, Understood. Is that better than the one we've got? 8.33. Right yes. A wise plan. The aggro range is pretty far, pretty long. A wise plan. Wrist straps, that actually seems really right good too. Away. Trying to do inventory management while I'm like running around. Now let's do this. I'm, I'm looking, I, I think I, I would pick whichever ones. Understood. Spell damage, spell damage. I think we go with the attack speed. Yeah, no, movement speed and then more plan. spell damage. Right away. I mean, the amount of loot that drops is very generous. I feel like, especially if you're playing with a group, you're going to get a lot of people who are idling, trying to f work through their inventory. Understood. But that's, I mean, it's nice to see that you're getting a lot of rewards for stuff. I distinctly remember failing this, uh... Ooh. 
I just think they remember failing this section. Does this also hurt me? We're gonna find out. No, it does not. I, why can't I target this? Come out of the bushes, please? Oh, he's gonna attack the dog. I guess do this. I was gonna say, I was unable to right-click him when he was in the bushes. So I've got Desecrated Ground and also Cloak of Flames, which is pretty good. Both of these are like melee range spells that are gonna help me out. I hope he, he yeah, he's gaining a little HP over time. These birds seem like they respawn pretty fast. A wise plan. Right away. And there aren't typical like move commands, so like I can't, for example, I can't stop move because the because S is a different hotkey. It's actually my ability hotkey. Actually, we can use this as an experiment to see if these things leash or if they will chase you forever. Right away. Okay, so they do leash. Getting a lot of leg items, that's for sure. No, no, spot right on top of them. Luckily, they attack me for the most part. Falls. Um, I think those are better, but we'll again we gotta test them out. How can I help? Yes. There we go. A wise plan. Energy and armor. I think we just go life. Oh, we're in combat, so we can't do this anyway. Direct. There we go. We did it. We made the circle. Yes. I assume this is going to unlock right the fast away. travel. Which, again, I never had the opportunity to really mess around with, because I couldn't complete this quest when I tried. Again, maybe if there was, if there's an indicator somewhere that says, like, you are in combat now, and then you are no longer in combat, would be nice, based on, like, when I want to equip items and such. Welcome to our... How can I help? Greetings. That was a close one. I'm glad we got the scraps, though. I should be able to run this portal for a while, and I can resupply in town when I need to. You're really a lifesaver. Very nice. And then if we check our stats... You're gonna need to be a bit stronger for this next part. Later, let's get you to your next hero tier. So we can go Vengeance or Dark Mage. See, this is Lightning Ball increases damage, increases radius, and decreases speed. Hmm. Let's go Dark Mage, especially because Vengeance is deceptively missing. So let's go. Let's do this. Spell Critical Strike is awesome. I definitely want that, actually. Ooh. I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like the idea of vengeance. I assume that it will appear when necessary. Let's try it. What's a game without a little jolly cooperation? The story of the game can be beaten solo with effort, but some of the content is much easier in a party. Dungeons for example scale based on player count. Some heroes are more valuable in large in a larger party and some are better in a small party, but they all have a place. Let's see where your place is. You've been given more stat points. I trust you can figure them out. Well, it took me some time before, but I think I know now. Uh, we have six. Wow, I have a ton of... ton of stats here. I'm just going to put this into life. Again, I think we got a very generous amount. My strength. So, cast your past... Pants the Honorable and Ragey McTankerton. Okay, that's good. So we have a caster and like a support hero here. So we gotta see what we've got. Phase shift. You can give yourself a chance to evade attacks, basically. This hero teleports to an enemy unit arriving with extreme force. And then once you're right in there, you cast Lightning Ball because it moves slower. And then you turn Cloak of Flames on. And then we've got this Spell Leech, which is awesome. Okay. So I, we're in a dungeon right now, and we've got two AI that are going to follow us around and help us through it, it looks like. I like that I'm a spirit of vengeance. Well, I just feel terrible that these are... We're killing these trained stags. No, don't knock them out of it, you dummies. 
Again, we do more damage up close, it looks like. Well, we don't do more auto attack damage, but a lot of our spells are that way. Now we have tier four leggings. See, I think I have time now that I can actually equip these things. You better not give these to my allies. They're, they're... All right, and then the castle siege is also still happening, but we're in a dungeon, so there's nothing we can do about that. Basically, every time there's a castle siege, you, you need to be back in town, but there's no way for me to go back to town. I think that's what the fast travel is for. So our attack is actually melee range now. Maybe I should have considered that. And the, the risk, like, you, you can put money into... There we go. You can put money into town defenses, and it reduces the risk. The higher the risk, the more likely you really need to be back in town. But there's nothing we could do about that. It's very possible that we'll get a defeat trigger because I can't go back because we're in the tutorial. But I kind of like the concept, especially early on, of having to, uh, to go back to town. And, like, you're kind of struggling to hang on, and then you get more and more powerful, and then eventually you can, like, go into the cave itself and just finally nullify the threat. I really like the concept of that. Oh, that's... No, not face shift. I want to use uh, deep... Or blink smash. Blink smash. And then turn this off. I mean, these are all... I mean, we have to wait for the timer to, to tick down. So, I guess we'll keep going. And these enemies are, are no joke. They've got a lot of HP, so the whole idea is you want to approach these with a party, I think. Goddamn right, I won those fingerless gloves. Now I just need a 40. Regalia. Just, just regalia. <laughs> So I should just be attacking what my tank is attacking, but you know. So just based on the size of the minimap and such, like, again, the amount of content that would be in the, the actual map and not the tutorial is going to be crazy. Let's go, boys. Actually, let me check. I think all the stuff that we're getting now is like a million times better. I mean, this is just 15% more spell damage. That scales really, really well. So even though this is tier 4, I still think that the one we have is somehow better. Fingerless gloves. See, because these are, again, these are spell damage percentages. So even though it's tier 2, I still I think it's better. So, Oh, wait, but what about my regalia? Is that chest? Again, spell damage seems so much better. I mean, this survivability on this is a lot better. But like an extra 66 energy when I have 1,500, I, I'm going to skip stick with my lower tier stuff, I think. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't the same one. I, there was a bear when I played this. I couldn't kill the bear. I tried so long to kill the stupid bear. I could not kill the bear. But maybe today's the day. Uh, tank? Tank, get aggro? What are you doing? Oh, oh, the bear is asleep. Yes, we are gonna kill- well, it's because I have two- I have two AI allies. It looks like this bear has the same- same spells. I don't really have a stun. I just used a, I have a, a haste spell. It's slightly off camera for you all, but I have a haste spell, so it just reduces my cooldowns. Look out, caster pants. Come on. We almost got him, boys. Just don't kill my, just don't kill my friends, please. This seems like a boss of, oh no! Wait, he's alive. Maybe that's part of the tutorial, or... No, he's not alive. I thought he was alive. We're gonna run out of energy here, so let's...
Oh my god, this, the, the constant stunning is really irritating with this thing. Yeah, walk back into the lightning orb, you fucking idiot. Let's go! Yes! We've done it. Select three. We get honor tokens, and then we get a bunch of items. So we're looking for spell damage, basically. I guess in the grand scheme, I'm not too concerned. Like, this looks great for me. And then, like, I'll greed the ones that I don't actually need. Those look great for me. That looks great for me. These all look good. I mean, and then, and then you get three free. Assassin's Ring looks pretty cool. It says select three, so I go select. Again, this is the tutorial, so it's not super important that I'm, like, super... Increases cooldown rate could be pretty good. Again, I would be a lot more um, cognizant of the items that I'm picking right now, but I know we're in the tutorial. You're going to need to balance your time spent out in the world with your time spent defending the castle from demons which spawn from the cave. If the castle becomes overrun, you will lose the game. Nothing really bad happens. You just need to remake the game. This is the end of the tutorial. Let's see how long you can last. This represents about one one hundredth of the total game. There's only a small portion of what will be thrown at you. And I hope it was enough to convince you that this game is worth your time. Alright, well, obviously I want to throw out the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I gotta equip my better items, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm in combat, so I can't. Get in there and stun. So again, this happens like every... It's not like every night time, but it's like... It's cyclical, right? So... I really like that lightning orb. I'm a really big fan of the lightning orb. And that's like my main AoE. I, I, I also have the Cloak of Flames, but that does burn through my energy quite fast. So basically, you have to pay to improve the town's defense. Which only really is... Will only keep you alive for a certain... Amount of time before it gets overwhelmed itself. It looks like this is going to be endless and then we're just going to die. I also wasn't able to equip my better item, but that's alright. The keep is under attack. Oh god, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by my own allies, and I don't have push priority. Get out of there. Oh my god. Look at the amount of skeletons. Skeletons! Again, it may or may not actually be possible here. There we go. We are dead. And down goes the keep. I kick McTankerton from the party. Oh my god. Something is spawning them as well. Goodbye, Ragey McTankerton. Oh, I'm alive! Why am I alive? Wow, I'm gonna die again, but that's alright. I, I basically am only... I'm just gonna use Lightning Ball over and over. That's the only thing I can use that actually would do anything here. Look at that damage! Captain Kirk. Well, we're back in the... Uh, in the World's End Keep. I think if they destroy the power generator, you lose. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, and then I get all my HP back, but I'm... Now I'm actually dead. is also AoE. Oh, yeah, it's the blink. I do like the idea of, like, you blink into something with such force that it gets stunned. Just like, bruh! <laughs> I think that was a pretty good tutorial. I think maybe you could just do the first castle defense early or just disable it, because, again, basically what happened was I went, I turned in the pies, and then suddenly the castle's getting attacked, and then I get warped to another area. So, again, for a tutorial... Maybe just clean that up a little bit, so because that would be horribly confusing, I think, for a player who didn't know. I knew already, because I understood how the, the game worked with the cycle of the castle defense. Um, but, but for a tutorial, again, you had you hit all of the important spots, which was, you know, how to use loot, how to... Well, that, that was just sort of built in. You'll figure it out. 
um, how to upgrade your character to the different levels, um, how to add points in, uh, and then working with a party to work through dungeons. And all the players have to do is open the map to realize how expansive the uh, the map itself is, which is really impressive. So this definitely seems like something I think if I could get some people together um, for like a consistent party, this would make for a pretty cool series uh, eventually. But uh, again, I think the tutorial was pretty well put together, but again, I'm just keeping in mind, as a tutorial, I think it needs to be a little crisper just because, again, you're assuming new players are coming in and there's some stuff that's just outright confusing that you don't really have a lot of time to mess around with. Also, again, the loot is coming at you really fast, but you can't pause the game because it's a multiplayer game. So, you know, you're getting this loot and the player wants to read about it. Like, they're brand new. That's what you got to kind of think about. They're brand new. So they're, you know, looking at everything, but the timer's ticking down. Number one, you, you know, it's the escort quest. You, you, the dog's just going to die. But it also shows that you can fail a quest. I guess it teaches you that you can fail a quest and it's not a big deal. You just go back and restart it. So there's that as well. Um, and it's very, you know, very generous with making sure that the player is power enough, powerful enough to proceed. There's no grinding involved. So from many perspectives, I do see it as a good tutorial. And I do think that it draws... It should draw people in to continue playing, I think. Again, it kind of gives them a taste of the expansiveness of the map, so of like the full map. So I definitely can see how the tutorial would transition people in, as long as they're not confused. That's the only thing. Again, it's a lot of information and like the castle defense at the beginning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I remember, so like when I played this... Um, I just lost. I just straight up lost. I don't think I gave... I don't think I... I don't remember... Did I give up on the bear? I think it basically... I couldn't beat the bear. And so I went back to town to defend myself, but I didn't have enough money to improve the town defense. So I just lost because the, the amount of units that poured out of the cave was like crazy. So it does sort of incrementally get harder, and it does force you sort of on a soft timer to improve the town defense and make sure that you're questing and to get enough money... And enough items to sell for more money to improve that town defense to keep the risk level to medium or below. Because once you get above that, uh, you've got to be there. I think if your risk is like low level, you don't necessarily even have to be there. The town defense is enough. But like medium, you probably should be there. And then anything higher than that, um, you're going to be in trouble. And then I think if you got up to like the, the highest level, even if you're there, uh, you're going to lose. <laughs> Which again is an interesting concept. Again, it's sort of a soft timer. It's kind of like got like a Majora's Mask feel feeling to it, where like there's a time pressure to it, which can be a little stressful, I think, for some players. But I mean, you even stress in the tutorial if you lose to the the cave to waves, then you just restart the game, and like your character progress is still saved in as part of a bank data file. So it doesn't matter whether you actually lose and have to remake the game, because whatever progress you made was still saved. <laughs> 